What's up there, humble little savage? Humble little savage with the beautiful butt. Philly Mara fucking Nara, my fucking kid, the little brother. And Pete Kenny and Ali in the house. What's up, Mark? <laughs> Wildfire. T -t -t Anthony. Hey, did you see the, um, Ali, did you see that guy's comment? He wants to buy nude pictures of you or something <laughs> on one of my posts. <laughs> I told him to join us. Hey, Cat, what is up, Cat? I got to email you, Cat. I'm starting to write your feature. Yes, that feature. So I need to get some uh, information. Mr. J in the house. Did you like that, Ali? You'd, you'd sell them, right? Would you sell nudies of yourself? You never know where they're going to end up. Yes, Kat, I have to, I have to put my, my, my brain to work later and get in his dreams. There you go. <laughs> how about Mason? Would you, would you give Mason the nudie? Or just how about like a butt shot? <laughs> you pop my... There he is, ball-busting champ. Holy shit, bro. You're in for a fucking long ride, my friend. And there's Miss Mia and Mikey Crazy. Mikey, are you getting in trouble at work? I thought your lunch hour is a different hour. Don't get in trouble. This is not safe for work. I should have one of those NSFW fucking things. Just saying hi. Got to get back. All right, cool, man. Thanks, bro. Thanks, bro. A lot of things brewing with your company there, Mike. And Mr. Johnson wants to come on board. He always starts to show off. 5% is going through some shit. Of course they are. I mean, anytime stuff like this happens, but they'll be all right. And Art Artie is on the air. Your boss is watching me. Give Mike a fucking raise, boss. Give him a raise. It's too early. Mr. Johnson, where are you? I see the other side of your room. I see all of that porn. And I see like a McDonald's cup over there. Were you eating cheeseburgers before? <laughs> What's up there, Mr. J? J is the, the fucking, he is the muscle sport media fucking favorite son. What is up, pal? I'm uh, meeting you in the right place in my bedroom and not where I was this past Monday. Oh, in the uh, you were in the uh, the library as they they used to call it in the old days. No, so I think we're safe. Good, that's right? All, that's, all, that's all I can know. That's all I can know. Yep. Okay. Uh, won't be long. Uh, well, since uh, that's the case, uh, for now, from now on, I'm the, in, in time I come here, you will uh, see Okay. In the, in the, uh, all right, anyway, I'm prepping. You prepping the bowl? Uh, no, uh, I'm prepping for the Olympics tonight. Oh, tonight's the opening ceremonies for the Olympics, right? Yes. In yes. Seoul, South Korea. Oh, who's can Yeah, thank you for my the correction. Okay. Understands. Okay, go ahead, Mr. J. The floor is all yours.
Spit it out. Go ahead. I know you're ready to go. Go ahead. Spit it out. Your fans are waiting. How was it? Uh, she only posts in fantasy or private. So. Oh, you're talking about Crystal, of course. Our Crystal Wildfire. Yes. Muscle Sports own Crystal. Miss Muscle Sport. Yes. Okay, so did you do a private or did you... Did you... Uh, no, I, I, I couldn't afford to do private right now because I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't have any tokens on it. I hear you. Um, I don't really sell them, you know what I mean? I only off the website, so it really wouldn't be able to, you know? I don't know how we, we, we would do that. We'd have to figure something out. But I, I never say no, Mr. Johnson. I always say, let's see. Let's, let's, well, maybe we can figure something out. How's that? Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. So everything else is okay, though, bro? Okay, That's cool. It. That's it for today. All right. Thank you, Mr. J, and I'll see you uh, on the feed. If you come back before your, your things, the errands are done, I, I'll see you back on the feed then, pal. All right. Uh, I'll, be on, I'll be looking on when I come back. Otherwise, see you next Monday. All right. You have a good weekend if we don't see each other. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I got to cut him off because I don't know what's going on. You see... I have to play by the rules, the rules for all of you that have no idea who that is. Most of you do. That is Mr. Johnson. He is uh, the cult, a cult hero here on Muscle Sport Media on the live programs. He always comes on at the beginning of the program, and he uh, he's very. <laughs> you like that Philly? I like your Philly line. <laughs> And he's he loved. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. You're fucking always welcome on my shows. He um, he loves female bodybuilders, and um, you know so. And he's a very huge fan of Crystal Wildfire Anthony. So we always want Mr. Johnson to come on, but we gotta get something for Mr. Johnson so we can buy tokens so we could finally bust one out to fucking Crystal. The MSM fam is doing great, John, Mr. Stana. Just here for the show. Hey, Paulie, what's up, Paulie P? Crystal, how would you would you feel honored if Mr. Johnson busted a nut to you on Muscle Girls Live? <laughs> Did anybody catch my prepping the bull comment? And do you know what that means? Because <laughs> if you know what it means, you're gonna laugh. If you say no, what the fuck is that? It's it, it'll sound stupid when I explain it. It's it's best if you know what it means. Um. Not much, brother. Loving life. All righty, Paulie P. I'm loving life, too. I'm loving it even more because I am on live with the fucking fam right here. Ask me anything MSM style. M-A-M is... I, I hope you mean MSM. Well, maybe that's Mr. Johnson is the New World Order. <laughs> I know I'm breaking your balls, Fozzie, because I want that fucking hat. <laughs> So feel free, ask me. It would be my privilege to be his jack-off material. How about mine? <laughs> Could me and Mr. Johnson share? <laughs> uh, too late for that. I've already been there, done that. <laughs> Working my fat off tra ass training. Or we are going to see each other at the fucking Arnold, Mr. Stoner. Please explain. I'm Swedish, so I don't get it. The muscles are piling up in the room. And Joe, I'll be your material. Ball busting champ, ball busting champ. Welcome to the program. And I, Ali said no to those pictures, but I will sell you my naked pictures if you'd like. And I promise I'll fluff up before I take them. All right, Mia, 
prepping the bull is when a cuckold, which is a guy that wants somebody to fuck his wife or girlfriend, he wants a black guy to fuck his white wife, and he preps the guy. Like, he's almost like a, such a, like a subservient pussy being a cuck that he actually blows the guy or jerks the guy off and gets the guy hard and then he fucks his wife and the guy jerks off watching it crystal has plenty for all the desire you're damn right fozzy i will pay you not to starts at 500 dollars. <laughs> Artie, what's up pal <laughs> but um yes i am not a fan of prepping the bull myself i would not let someone fuck my wife I don't care if he's a black guy or a guinea like me. Pretty much the same thing, right, Mal? Now, <laughs> now, how fucked up is that? Because he kept going prepping, I'm prepping. So I was like prepping the bull, even though really he would have to be the bull because he's the black guy. But uh, I just figured it, it, it came to me. <laughs> so what is <laughs> Philly, Marinara. Philly, we got to do a fucking interview with you. Philly, you're going to the fucking Arnold, right? I hope you are, because then we're going to hang out and have beers together at night. The fam is going to drink together. We are all going to be hanging at the fucking Arnold Classic in three weeks. Three fucking weeks, man. So, uh, if anybody has any uh, uh, thing to ask, I, I've had a very busy fucking last few days making videos. How about your wife lets a black guy fuck you, Joe? Fozzie, I gotta worry about you, man. Maybe you're a f fucking fanoic here with that. <laughs> I don't think my wife would get off on that, and I certainly wouldn't. <laughs> I don't want any men in my butt. Thea Renee and Vela Fit. Hi, Thea. Mikey was here with his boss, and I told his boss to give him a fucking raise. He deserves it. Foz, would you let a fucking black guy bang you in the butt? <laughs> How are you doing, Big Paul? Big Paulie Paradise you're talking to? Paulie Paradise. Oh, Andrea, Rip Vixen. Rip Vixen. Rip, that fucking picture you posted on Twitter with the, the fucking, the, like the point of view shot from under, so your fucking, your clitoral hood it looks like the hood of a fucking 57 Chevy. I would love to fucking go do the fucking the, the, the Richard Nixon in that fucking clip. <laughs> and he holds a goal. Foz, I'm worried about you, bro. <laughs> he does need a raise. The, uh, did you like my remark about you guys remaining celibate till the fucking wedding? <laughs> Imagine people doing that nowadays. They used to. I hope my fucking daughter does that when she marries Nick. Where is Nick D? You like that, Ripped? <laughs> Big Rob. Big fucking Rob. Everybody should follow Ripped Vixen. Andrea Mandela. She's an IFBB pro bodybuilder. And she's, she does good good webcam stuff. And she has the uh, the Snapchat, is it? No, Crystal does the Snapchat. What do you do? You do the... Oh, I forget now. Holy shit. You do something, another one of, the, uh, of that. Of course we are. You're just doing fucking just oral sex like the Jew broads, right? <laughs> hey, Prophet, what's up? Prophet's going to have something to fucking say. He's been commenting out that Instagram shit like crazy. The vape fucking lady. What's up, vape? What do you think of the 5% layoffs, Joe? You're getting old, Rob. Well, that's getting old. Andrea has Snapchat, too. Oh, okay. I know she had something else that we had. The 5% layoffs. I, you know, I don't know if you guys saw the, the, the video I did with uh, Caleb, Big C, our buddy. Again, let me just read the comment from Ball Busting, and I'll get back to it. Again, for the record, I said I would use commercial time to convince Allison to marry me, and they made a joke I would set up for news. I thought I would buy news. Oh, okay, I know. I'm just fucking having a little few laughs, bro. A few laughs. But that would be cool. You, you can break your friend's balls on the commercial. That would be great, bro. I need the fucking money. No, I'm just Well, I do. Corey Moshe, what's up? 5% um, layoffs. If you guys did not see the video I did with Big C, Caleb Green, um, you know, I let him do the explaining, obviously. I, I you know, threw a few uh, scenarios and questions at him. Um, I understand that as a business. Yari, what's up? Did you watch the Mack truck? No, I did not, actually. I did not. Is that the one with Viking? Because I know Viking was supposed to do that. We all need that money. You're damn fucking straight, vape. We got to buy more fucking vape. 
They should have made me the face of, oh, he calls it 0%. <laughs> Is there a correlation between heavy squats and hip replacement surgery? There could be, but I know people that don't work out that needed hip replacement surgery. So if you're predisposed to that, and I guess Crystal could fucking, you know, either tell me I'm wrong or say he's right. Uh, I'm just surmising because I, I, you know, I fucking... I know people that have had hip replacement that don't fucking train. Big C Green is a sweetheart. Yes, and if he was gay and I were gay, we would fuck. I'll make it selling vape instead. You can make it selling nudes instead. <laughs> I'll be your first customer. Hey, Arnold around the corner. Corey, you're going to be there. We're going to hang and have beers, dude. Um, I, I understand it as a business decision. Um, you know, and... Uh, and I, I, as a person, that's a big. He is a great guy, bro. I've hung out with him many a time, and uh, we've drank together, and we did not fool around. Fucking people might say we were. Now hips are made the same. Some of them are prone to injury. Okay, so I guess I wasn't too off, right? <laughs> um, yeah. So that uh, that is uh, shit happens, man. Businesses. They have to make moves and changes all the time. I mean, look how much I've changed this fucking place around over the years. Did you hear about the Black Lives Matter activists? Like, yes, I did. I did. I did read about that. And they don't have a suspect, right? That's what I read last night. No suspect. Yes, you did, Joe. Be honest. What? That me and Caleb fool around? <laughs> Just had to go follow Rip Vixen and Crystal. Eric Williams, you are going to be a happy man. And every time you take a shit, you're going to go to their pages and fucking pinch your cock. But go to the Twitter. To Twitter. Crystal, you got to use that Twitter more. Because it will be easier for me to journal off to you. <laughs> oh, my God. The only construction worker that's a sponsored bodybuilding athlete. Well, he's not an athlete. That's why he even said it in the video. He's like... He's going to be an ambassador. Mickle Mil Mike Mickley, what's up, bro? If you like New York City, he seems to have been with the New York Police. I despise Mike uh, um, um, Bill de Blasio, arthritis Artie. He's a piece of shit. He's a fucking communist. He's a liberal fucking bastard. He fucking went to Russia and Cuba when they were on the fucking you're not allowed to go here list in the United States. And he honeymooned, I believe, in Cuba by way of Canada. I he's a piece of shit and the police department has every right to fucking turn their backs on that big fuck I call him Big Red because he's a communist and he's a big tall tall dude oh fucking prophet's gonna rub oil Big Frank what's up bro I didn't get a chance to look at your DMs because I had to go on live when I went I got a, I had to charge my phone before this and I was doing some other shit and then I saw you had a message and I'll I'll, I'll answer. Uh, I'll answer you after that. But ask Big Frank, guys. Ask Big Frank. Put a fuck and Crystal. Thank you for the heads up. She uh, she uh, sent me the link. And Frank is uh, he has so much five percent stuff, uh, double X large. And he said you no, know, he he understands what happened with the rich stuff. But he's just cleaning his closet out. He's not getting rid of it all. And he wanted to. Um, you know, give it, send it to people that can't afford to buy it, that want to buy that stuff. And so he just got, he said he got inundated with DMs and I sent him one too and he got to it. He got to it right away and wrote me back. I want to do an interview with Big Frank and we'll set something up, Frank. For, I guess next week we'll do it. And uh, even if the thing is over with, just I want to talk that, that you did that. I did hear about Pelosi going eight hours plus overtime on the fucking floor of the Senate. She's a fucking old twat who's fucking horrible. Big Frank from my hometown. You the man, bro. Yeah, fucking Frank, bro. I, I, I was looking at your page, man. You, you're a fucking, a large fella. <laughs> okay, we'll talk, bro. We'll talk, uh, uh, you know, and then we'll, I'll, you know, Joe at MuscleSportMag.com. It's easier to do shit through email than that, uh, the DM, because that fucking, I, I always fucking type words wrong. Duh, Hitman. What is up, duh, Hitman? She will stand for illegals, but not for her own fellow Americans. You're darn right, Stana. Pelosi is fucking just disgusting. There he is. There's the man who's going to be celibate before marriage when he starts dating my daughter. What is up, the hitman? And Nick, got your shine box. Go home and get your fucking shine box, Tommy. What's up, Nick? I saw son of fucking made a, a, a quick in and out here. Say hello to him. 
Nick, we gotta we gotta uh, do the sports show. I, are you a basketball guy? I know you're baseball, but today the fucking trade deadline. It's buzzing. What's going on out there in the NBA? And it ended at three when we started. The NBA trade deadline ended, so I was curious to see if there's any last minute trades that uh, they got in under the gun. That's creepy. You want a guy you never met in person the day you thought I know it is fucked up, right? <laughs> I'm partially joking, but he seems like a fucking nice kid and he takes care of his grandmother and shit. And he's Italian. He lives in New York. He likes sports. I mean, I could do worse. <laughs> what do I think of 5% thing? I think it's a business de- uh, decision and they felt that that was the right business decision. I don't want to sound like a dick, guys, but... I never understood why they had 100 plus fucking sponsored athletes. It made no sense business wise. I don't care if all of these guys were great with their social media posts. That's expensive flying people out. I, I, I pay for maybe one or two people when I do business trips and it's fucking, imagine fucking 50 or something. I mean, it's crazy, bro. Big game. What's up, Paulie James? I think it's nuts, man. LeBron can stop crying. LeBron's the GM. He wanted Isaiah out. <sighs> basketball history as far as the current... Oh, okay. I love basketball history, but I like to do what it is. Cosgrove, the man of the fucking hour. Some thinks it's because business is not doing good. Well, that was the first thing I asked Big C in the video I did with him. And um, he said that was not the case. So um, he said they're just allocating the money in different places because they're doing a lot of different things. I don't know. I'm not part of their business, obviously. <laughs> I like the guys, you know. I think they paid for their own travel expenses. I don't know if they all did. I met some of them did. But I know that they paid for their food and stuff. Joe, they didn't fly us out. We paid everything out of pockets. Okay. All right. Tell me the latest. All right. I, I just made an assumption on that. But I, I know that... Uh, they send boxes out every month to people with a lot of shit in it and that fucking shit gets heavy and I sent something out today and it was expensive. <laughs> um, okay. Tell me the latest gossip on MD, Greg, Chanel, blah, blah, I ain't up to date. I don't know. What's I haven't seen Greg on MD. He didn't do his show this week. I don't. He did RX and then in posting it tomorrow with Big Lenny. So that I'm definitely going to watch. Um, cause that's two, two fucking guys that make me laugh. And, um, I don't, I don't know, you know, it seems like there is some kind of rumblings over there and I've had my fucking, my big fight with Ron Harris and he will not reply to me where I can reply back. That just shows you the fucking, the microscopic testicles that he possesses. They paid for two or three people. The rest paid for everything themselves, but no hate. All right, Frank. I don't know. See, I, this is stuff that I'm, I'm, I'm learning for myself then. Um... Uh, I don't have a problem with Instagram athletes because I'm not one of these guys that, ooh, I have BB Pro. Fuck everything. with I could care less about contests and all of that fucking nonsense. But I think that it's just to have that many people and them either getting paid or getting uh, a box of stuff every month, that adds up after a while. What do I think of Cali Muscle's used condom-looking nipples? Oh, Natty Comics with a fucking zinger. It's Gyno. He's a fucking juice monkey like everybody else in this fucking industry. Joe, you're full of shit. That's first signs they are not making revenue. I didn't, st- I said that Big C told me that and I'm not behind their closed doors. I, I'm not reading their books, so I don't know. So I can only go by what I'm being told and, and Caleb's my fucking friend and I'm going to take what he says as word. I'm, I'm, I, I have no fucking problem with that. The Big C interview is great. Nick, thank you very much. I mean, was I throwing him softballs? You know, I, I asked them the first out of the box was you guys are losing money since Rich passed away, right? It wasn't softballs, right? That's that's the hardest one to answer. Kat Vong, what's up, Kathy? Mark loves 5% till he dies. Well, we hope that's 100 years from now. If they were doing so good, why did everyone take a cutback? I know that they're doing a lot of new things. They're doing more video work and stuff. And a lot of that in-house stuff costs a lot of money. And... It, it maybe it, they weren't seeing a big return from all of the Instagram posts with people having the five percent uh, doing their Instagram. Why were you calling out Steve Blackman the other day? Oh, because the the Boston Lloyd Vicky, there she is. Vicky, I I, I am never going to be able to pronounce that name. Moot 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 to the pool. Where's Mason when I need him? I'll just call her Vicky. 
Vicky's hot and she's got nice fucking muscles and she lives in Greece and she sends me nice videos of her working out and you're going to see them on MSTV. The first one, I did a little teaser one, but we'll have a lot more coming. Good evening. See, she's over there in that Europe and it's it's late over there. I love Big Lenny. I hope he becomes a regular. I love Big Lenny too and m- the more the Lenny, the better, wherever you have him. And I watch RX's stuff anyway, so I would love it. If you had to guess who was behind Profit Muscles Fake Insta, who would you have earned cash on? I have no idea, but he's always supporting us over here, so I like him. Frank, do you still do coaching? Oh, that's not for me. I'm not Frank. Rach, what's up? Rach gets swole. Kate Vong's waving. Caleb is the man. I agree. Caleb is a uh, a good fucking egg. Your service sucks, Philly. Where are you? Are you in, in a, a a gymnasium? Mo- yeah, you can, you can write it out, but I can't fucking pronounce that. <laughs> Mutulapulo. Mut? Mutapulo. Mutapulo. Mautapulo. It almost, it's, that almost could be Italian if you took the U off. It would look Italian. Big C knows his stuff. He got a lot of respect for him. Now, people were saying, oh, 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 Big C, he's not an athlete. You don't need to be an athlete. He's, he's a businessman, and he does a lot of shit behind the scenes for those guys. What happens with Boston? Uh, the Cliff Notes version, MD brought him on board to do a show called Real Talk. He did a show called Real Talk. Uh, less than uh, maybe like 27 hours later, one day later, they pulled it down and said it was too controversial. So, I mean, what the fuck? Just call me Vicky. Yeah, much easier. If people try to pronounce my name, I should say Joe. <laughs> Christina! Christina's looking fucking sweet as sugar pie in her new photos. What do you think of Blackstone telling the 5% athletes to apply to their Legion program? Well, I mean, you could look at it two ways. Um, you could say like PJ is being kind of like uh did a, a cruel thing but you can also look at that well he's trying to get business and maybe he feels that that's a business model for him to get a lot of people that already have some kind of you know uh footprint out there in this industry and um you know he's he's not going to pay all of those people because the same problem he would have that five percent has i'm in pa visiting my fam oh cool so it's cold I don't know where you're from originally. Where you're from? You're from Hawaii? So, I, I mean, you look at that video and you're like, oh, you first you're like, oh, it looks like he's taking a shot at 5%. But then you think, well, he's just saying, hey, we, but with the loyalty shirt thing, it looked a little, a little like, a little like pissing on him a little bit. And, uh, I mean, that's, you know, PJ Braun is PJ Braun. He is who he is. Just like I, I'm who I am. And, um, that's, he felt that that was the way to get a reaction and it did obviously. And it looks like a lot of those 5% people are, uh, going to take him up on that offer. I saw a lot of people saying email sent. So, you know, I don't know. Where's the 0% is that six months they went back for Chanel and I got the boot. Boston better not go to Iron Meg. That would be a joke. Well, you heard what he said to me on that, right? That they, they, they want him over there. Um, I have to follow up with Boston today on something else as well. <laughs> I'm such a prick. <laughs> He's an amazing guy. Great to talk full of knowledge. Yes. Great. Hey, Christina. Hey, all. Coffee and snatches. Wow, that's good. And I'm not thinking about the, the snatches in the weight room. I'm thinking about the snatches in the bedroom. I always surprise who's full of scumbags. Vicky, this whole industry, and I can I can bet my bottom dollar as a woman you and Crystal and Andrea and all the other women in this industry could say, are you fucking kidding me? You ain't seen nothing yet. It's 10 times worse for you guys. Oh, Prophet wants Christina. <laughs> Prophet, did you see new pictures of Christina? She looks fucking hot. PJ signed his barber to a sponsorship. He is nuts. I didn't see that, but maybe it's a fucking, you know, it's it's marketing ploy for a joke or whatever. How full of shit. I'm going to fix that in my reading because I know that's what you meant. You're a potty mouth, Vicky, like me. How many people are making money on others? Oh, that's all it is. You're a PA girl. You live in Virginia now. It's cold and snowing here. Oh, yeah. It's it's like cold, but not it's not bad. We had like like sleet yesterday. See, Dubs, what's up, bro? Three weeks, you and I will be fucking saying salute and clicking fucking drinks. I have to say a big thank you today. 5% were my main seller. I backed them 100% in the UK for a year. 
a big think about today? I'm not sure. I'm losing you, Christina. Is that good or bad? I don't know. Maybe it's an English expression. PJ is a cool guy. I met him at the New York Pro. He talked to me up to his ex-girlfriends, made me me up to his ex-girlfriend, made me look good. If a guy's trying to hook you up with fucking a, a girl and then it's his ex-girlfriend, <laughs> that's, yeah, I, I, I can see where you're fucking coming from. Big Nick, they go do a UK tour and miss out the main retail is bullshit. Oh, okay. Now I'm starting to catch the uh, meaning of the other thing. Christina, your cleavage is fucking nice. <laughs> I'm looking at the picture. Fuck the 5%. I don't support illegal take. Oh, fucking profit. Where do you come up with this? Blackstone going to take over. Well, Mikey, with you and Thea on board, I'm not going to say they can't because you guys are fucking good. That's why I wanted to do that thing. <laughs> hey, bad boys, 34. What's up, bro? Smart move on business on BJ's part. Yeah, Yankees 2017. That is is that the the, uh, the fake account? <laughs> What's up, Joe? You're looking very fresh and nice today. Italian stallion. Thank you, bad boys. Again, I wish it was bad girls. With you, gives me nice compliments. But I know he's a heterosexual though. Team Protein Barbells. Welcome to the program. Crazy Hawk has already jumped on the bandwagon with Black. Crazy Hawk is a is a paid sponsored athlete along with Theo and A. So he that's his. Job to be fucking <laughs> pumping them. Bad, lol. Can't wait. Yes. Elena, what's up? Looking forward to it. You're going to bring shirts with you? I have to order new shirts. I'm, I'm going to bring some that I have left, but I need to do a new order with Sal, my guy Sal. Cat Vaughn, can you wear that nose ring and put on that eye makeup? <laughs> And tell CW, no, I'm kidding. CW is going to stomp my fucking teeth down my throat. Crazy whore, create your own brand. Stop being a follower. Oh, to your ex-girlfriend, not his. Oh, okay. Well, that's still cool, though. Oh, so you have an ex-girlfriend now, so you're free. All right, I'm going to hook you up with my daughter. Tell Dookie to unblock me before I knock him out and make him lick oil. Well, if you do say that, you will probably get fucking handed a cease and desist letter. <laughs> hey, check my videos at Diesel Up Fitness. Well, not right now. I'm doing a show, bro. <laughs> Maybe later. Is there any naked girls in them? Any fucking milkmaids or anything like that? I'm pissed they treated me like shit after spending so much over a year. And all my Instagram stuff. Anyway, Lloyd's is big because I'm done backing them. Uh, listen, I, I, I never tell somebody that their opinion isn't the best opinion. If you think certain, like if somebody wants to vote for Hillary Clinton last year and they, I'm sorry, I'm not going to talk them out of it. I think you're a fucking maniac, but it doesn't mean that you don't think that you're smart and I'm the maniac. So if you feel that that, and you're a business person, Christina, like myself, so you have to do what's best for your business. And that's the main fucking thing. Viking 503, what's up, Vike? Cool stuff, Diesel. Blackstone Labs takeover. Then tell him to fucking advertise with me. <laughs> Joe is looking great. What have you been doing? Your new t-shirt suits you, but I have missed you in pink. Yeah, I had the pink on for a little while. I did some uh, interviews with it on too. Pink Princess Barbie you always brings some sunshine and beautiful hearts to the program. Pink Princess Barbie, are you going to be at the Arnold Classic? He'll bring you a thong, cat. See, Dub, I will. Do am I allowed to? Because I don't want make. I don't want you to think that I'm trying to be a fucking Weisenheimer. Vixen baby, send me some photos bending over. I need to see results. Thong. I knew what you meant, bro. I knew what you meant. Christina, they want one-sided lawyer. Ooh, wildfire. All split dookie eyes more than they are. <laughs> split. Be careful, fake profit muscle. Complete Nutrition CC. What's up? Welcome to the program. Thoughts on the Eagles not wanting to visit the White House? Is CT really E that bad in the NFL? Uh, I'll do the second question first. Hey, Carlos, what's up, bro? Did you like my Boston interview? Boston fucking is, I love that fucking guy. Uh, CTE, I have to would say it is. I mean, you can't make shit like this up. And I mean, uh, you know, you look at the guys that played years ago and a lot of them fucked up. Like Mike Webster, perfect example. Fucking Steelers. Uh, center for I remember him number fifty three for years. I mean I, been watching since the mid seventies. So um, I think CTE is really that bad in the NFL, and and people may not like those rules to try to make it safer, but you you don't have a choice. I I mean it's not enough with the fucking quarterback fucking late hits when they're fucking hour after the guy threw the ball. That's different. I'm talking about leading with your head and shit like that. I think they're doing it for the good of the game eventually because. They don't want guys getting fucking hurt. So, 
The Eagles not visiting the White House. Again, I will I'll guess I'll just say like I did before, if you think that's best for you as a business or a person, then you don't go to the White House. I mean, I I think it's an honor even if you don't listen. I No one hated fucking Barack Hussein Obama, the Kenyan communist, more than I did. But if I was a professional ball player and I won a championship and the tradition is to go to the White House and you give him the jersey with his 44 would have been for Obama, um, uh, I, I, I would have done it because it's an honor to do that. Daddy likes the thong. Well, so does Joey. <laughs> <laughs> All the way truth. Yes, that's about Boston. I'm having a Zach, a Zach con open in two weeks with my nephew. Oh, good. Yes, definitely. Uh, tag me and I'll repost it for you. I love Zach con. Zach's fucking great. Comerica looks like my ass crack after shitting out Taco Bell. Oh, that's mean. And Crazy Hawk licks oil. Wow. How do you think the USA will do in the Winter Olympics? That's a great question. I forgot it was opening ceremonies tonight until Mr. Johnson reminded me. Um... I don't know. I mean, I, they're not doing the hockey, right? They're doing the. Uh, they're not doing the bullshit NHL players in hockey this year in the Olympics, I believe. So I'm glad. I hate that. I hate Dream Team fucking Olympics. Professionals should not be playing in the Olympics. Basketball, hockey, anything. Um, I don't really know. I mean, I haven't really. I don't follow the. I watch, but I don't know who these guys are and who's good in these certain events and different things. Um, I, I like to watch that curling shit though. Kenny, how fucking cool is that curling shit? And everybody's like, what is this shit? But you get, you're glued to it when you watch it on TV. I am definitely going to watch some of the Olympics. Bad boys, I want to order a couple of shirts. How can I get a couple of them, my man, for me and my wife? MuscleSportMag.com slash store, bad boys. Uh, all the shirts are listed on there. And free shipping in the United States. Trump could get two shits he could come to the White House. Yeah, I mean, he don't give a fuck. Viking said Chanel was free labor for rich. I, listen, again, I'm not part of that inner circle. They did some work with us. I'm friends with Caleb. Um, you know, I, I love all the 5% guys. Every time I'm at an, a, an expo, they're all really cool fucking dudes. And uh, like big game Paul James and fucking big Rob and all of them. And Paolo and Caleb and, you know, and I'm... The little, uh, uh, little Beast Nina. I mean, I, I like him. Chanel was a fucking sweetheart when I met her at the Olympia and at LA Fit Expo. So I only have good things to say about them as people and as a business. They, they you know, I think they needed to make a different thing because I mean, how long could you keep riding the same thing? I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. But I guess we'll find out. I think I think they did what they had to do as far as they feel their business model had to have a, a, a change. And they feel that having this army of people around um, as sponsored athletes isn't, you know, the, the thing, you know, isn't, isn't profitable. Hey, Joe, can you send me a box once a month? It doesn't have anything good in it. Maybe some old Playboy mags and some ketchup boxes packets. I just want to get a box. Paul, fucking funny. Paul, you're going to be at the fucking Arnold. I, I hope you guys come. I like all that fucking Shuey. I hope he's still going to go and all of that. I, I know. I love hanging out with you guys. You guys are fucking funny. I want to get drunk with all you guys. So if anybody starts on me, I have some fucking big people protecting me. In case, like, Ron Harris wants to hit me. <laughs> I will put my penis in his mouth. <laughs> and not for sexual reasons. Like, jail rape reasons. Put Viking... Matt Truck and Big Boy on the cover of Busting a Train on. Come on, come on, bro. All the fucking Scottish fucking uh, the curlers. Benton Curl Santiago. What's up? Welcome to the program. What do you think? So, why do you think so much drama follows the 5% name and crew? I have my own opinion about it. I'd like to hear yours. Um, Madison Rising, welcome to the uh, program. Christina needs a USA trip again soon. Good, I'm in the USA. What's up, brother? I mean, I don't know. I guess because uh, Rich was a controversial guy. He talked about steroids. Um, he didn't suck the dick of the federations. So I think that that kind of like that outlaw bad boy mentality is what fucking made their bones. And I, it's not really drama. I think it's just more like you got a lot of strong personalities on that team. And... Um, and then when like a guy like Viking and then a guy like fucking um, uh, even the Maverick used to be with them and stuff. 
And it's a lot of people that have a lot of like, you know, testosterone too. Of Let's not forget that, of course. I just think it's the whole genre of them and their fucking mantra. I mean, that where they're kind of like, they got this big burly bad boy look and, uh, you know, and sometimes that it's, it's conflict sometimes when shit isn't, doesn't go perfect. And Rich dying was a big issue, whatever. I mean, obviously, I mean, just people as friends of him and, and as in the business sense. I would love to meet you, brother. You seem like a down-to-earth kind of guy. I might have to come to the Arnold. Oh, I would love it, bro. We're having a beer together. Who cares about who wins the show? We're going to have how many fucking beers can we drink and talk about chicks' asses? What happened with Maverick and Rich? I, you know what? I don't really know. I, I, I met Maverick at the LA Fit Expo. Uh, we bullshitting a little bit. And he was like, you know, there's a lot of stuff that people don't know about. And, you know. He he wasn't he wasn't talking about it. He just was like, just kind of make it as a matter of fact statement. And I, I, to me, that's like gossipy stuff. I you know I know I'm a fucking ball breaker, but I don't like behind the scenes with business stuff. I don't really unless it's you know fucking MD up. You know, <laughs> it doesn't help me. <laughs> Rich film more waiting and drive though he did it in the gym. Film more waiting. I guess you're saying there's a lot more videos about him out there that didn't put out. Of course, New York is the Mecca. The Mecca. The Mecca of the wild. I know, I'm so sick of New York, though. It's fucking cold. Fucking liberals. Shitty neighborhoods. Fucking stinky fucking people. Hey, Conjure, you guys want to get your fucking dick up? This is good shit for magic and muscle. This is that fucking male enhancement pill. This is the dick pill. Like the other one I used to do for Goliath when they advertised with us. This is the, this is a good dick pill. Magic and muscle. CK. Thoughts on Dorian Yates. Nick always comes up with a good one. Not being a Holocaust believer. I think he's wrong. I think, uh, what am I drinking? I Just water. Just water. I had my shakes and stuff. I work out early in the morning. I did that long hours ago. Is New York a sanctuary? Oh, yeah. Fucking, not only that, but de Blasio will fucking eat your ass, too. <laughs> Keep you from the ICE agents and fucking perform analingus on you. Um, I, I think Dorian's completely wrong. Holocaust is not fake. You can look at U.S. military's fucking videos when they first liberated the camps and shit. Those aren't fake. Not That's not fake fucking videos like these idiots with the fake moon landing and shit. They don't, those fucking bodies aren't fucking dummies, you know, to show their faces today. Profit Muscle, you, you got a mean streak. Usually you're like more of like a, a like a ladies man, like the guy on, on fucking Saturday Night Live. Yeah, ladies man. That's Profit usually. Yeah, Crystal, New York is fucking disgusting. I can't wait to move to South Carolina. Uh, that's, that's where my wife and I want to go eventually. Don't know if it's going to happen, but we're going to try. Shuey, where are your sub? Oh, that's what I got to give the email out. It's true, but that whole Section 8 motherfuckers voting in Bill Boston in February. That's true, too, Nick. That is true. Um, Ingle Rossi Media. I'm going to announce it on the show today. I'll put a post up. I'm going to put Robert Ingle Jr. That's our buddy from Pumped Up Fitness Nutrition. He is. Uh, he wants to. You, if you want to become a sponsored athlete, for a supplement company, he's kind of like a marketing agent that deals with a lot of these companies, and he's doing some kind of program, and I'm going to put a post up soon with his email address. I believe it's robert at uh, inglerossimedia.com, but I will fucking get it correctly, and um, and, and so... It's, it's, and he already spoke to Caleb and stuff. It's not like he's trying to do the thing like, you know, stealing these 5% guys. But he, he wants to help out guys that are looking for sponsorship from supplement companies. If you're an Instagram fucking guy, you're a pro or, you know, anywhere in between. So, LC Greenwood, what's up? West Coast Johnny. West Coast Johnny's not a 5%. He's a fucking regular dude that likes it like I do. I have never used the 5% nutrition product. I've never tasted it. So I don't like go yeah, rah, rah, rah. I like the guys. I think they're cool. <laughs> they're fucking funny guys. They're good people to bullshit with. You're looking great today, Joey. Thank you, Mark, the Nutri, Nutri Guy 01. Mark, the Nutri Guy. Thank you, sir. And so are you, but I can't see you. But I'll just make an assumption. Um, yeah, so 
I don't know. That's the thing. Would getting into the porno industry get someone fired from the FDNY? Oh, wouldn't you like the fuck the snot out of that dominatrix broad that got kicked out of the fucking New York, uh, the New Jersey police department? <laughs> Joe hasn't sucked five percent dick. <laughs> Oh no! I can definitely can say I haven't. Um, I yeah, it, it might. Like I guess you're kind of making a little uh, reference to that girl, and you're trying to say that since you're waiting for FD, you may have some stuff lingering in your past. Travis Dustin, all day you may is good. I admit, doing wonders for me. See that that's an honest opinion because you just said, Christina, that business wise, you don't want nothing to do with them for your own reasons, which seem valid to me. Um, but you're going to be honest and say, hey, this product is good. I, um, I've i only heard good things about the products. But I've never tried one. I want to try one of those real food bars. They look good. <laughs> oh, man. So that is pretty much what I... Yes, I think if you have porno in your past, bury it. If you're looking to get a fucking civil service job or something like that. I have a couple opportunities to make money in the industry to have an agency that wants to sign me, but I'm afraid I'm going to ruin my career to be a firefighter. Is there any way that you could change the way you look in the movies? Like, I would say, like, maybe dye your hair with that um, uh, temporary dye, comb it a different way, and grow facial hair and dye that the same color as the hair. Do like what, when fucking Gus Farachi killed the fucking DEA agent and he... Dyed his hair red. That's the second Gus Farachi fucking reference on the show in the past few weeks. I w- if you're going to make good money, I mean, how far away from you on the list with the with the thing? Oh, what's up, Chris? I didn't see you, bro. Thank you for joining. And Lee Carter. Why do I, fispe- why do I support the 5%? Oh, come on. When they don't pay to have it. I'm not uh, supporting a put a mustache on your penis. Stunt cock. Um... What do you work for when you? What did you do for work when you were young? I you get that's been out there. Ron Harris is putting it all over MD because he probably knows that I didn't want to put that out there. Yes, I I worked in a peep show, all male review on Forty Second Street. <laughs> they called me shaved ass skinny, <laughs> clean cheeks. <laughs> um, um. I don't know, bro. I, I yes, Chris, I'm definitely. <laughs> Did you really? No, come on, bro. Do I look like I would do something like that with all the beautiful things I say? <laughs> I had a city job. Do you still juggle with the VHS tapes? I did up until a couple of years ago. Yeah. All of my headshots are bleach blonde like Eminem. I put an ad on sexy jobs and my phone is blonde. It depends on what kind of money you're getting for it, you know? Just use f- just for men on his pubes. Ha ha! I know you lie because I don't have any. I shave everywhere. All I got is whatever's left up here in my eyebrows and my eyelashes. Everything else is shaved. Yes, Chris Bra. You you are a part of that MD. Uh, are you on mo- no bull? And don't. It was Sergeant. Please don't undersell me, Detective. Then Sergeant. Have you ever met Arnold? Yes. I shook his hand, took a picture with him. I didn't hang out with him. I just, you know, he was walking by after we were up at the restaurant in the hotel. He stayed at the same hotel as I did. Not in the same bed, not in the same room, probably not on the same floor. Um, yeah, but that was like a little click. Hey, Arnold, take a picture. Please take a picture with me, Mr. Arnold. I like you. You're a famous man and I'm a nobody. But um, did you cuddle with Arnold? No, no. No. Fucking Nick is getting fucking uh, offers to do fucking... Now, Nick, is it is it straight porn? Because I have heard that to get into straight porn, you have to do... That's not, stop joking. You're breaking, breaking your balls, Chris. Um, I, that you have to fucking do uh, gay and straight. I turned on a little solo masturbation. Yeah, that is for a gay audience. I'm um, an agency offered me a thousand dollars to sign with them, which I'll probably be paid about five to seven fifty a shoot. But what are you going to get? Sh- what do you got to do in the shoot? Like just nudes for yourself, or do you get the fuck checks? Greg is butt hurt because he is emotional. When did he seem butt hurt? I didn't. I haven't seen anything really with him lately. Who is the biggest jerk you have met in the industry? Uh, Christian Duque, even though he is should not even count. Because he's so low on the fucking totem pole. 
Um, but that's the first name that comes to mind. A lot of faggots are hitting me up, telling them to get lost. Uh, dude, I you know I get nudes sent to me all the time, trying to be like a model for the magazine. And when I work for MD, forget about it. I got tons. Joe was the cop in the village, people. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think Chanel wants to boink Greg. Why? When he had him on the show, you mean? Lucky Luke. Luke, when are we doing a sports show, bro? You and Nick, you got to get your fucking shit together. I'm waiting to do this sports show with my guys. Why am I not seeing comments you are reading? I don't know. Maybe all these people blocked you because you're mean to them. <laughs> I don't know. Did you guys see Crystal's new video up? Joe, as soon as I get back from SoCal, same here. I don't know, man. It's weird. Yeah, I don't know what to do. It seems like such an easy way to make money, but I don't know if it's the right move. How far are you on this list? Are you like in investigation status yet? Blocked. Why? No, you're not a bitch. You're beautiful. Who is Crystal? Oh, Prophet. Who are you fucking kidding? Crazy Hawk. Miss doing security for porn. Maybe Crazy can help answer that question. <laughs> Did any of those porn actors ever become firefighters after that, Mike? <laughs> you can't see them. Yeah, no, I know that. But I'm just assuming. Some t I don't know. You're on the waiting list. Like, all right, but uh, like, are they been calling people from that list? Or is it one of those lists that they're going to wait the other one? Uh, you know, go through totally. You know, I mean, if you're like really close, you might you might have to you, you might have to wait on that porn career. But if you like are years away, give it a shot. For fuck's sake, I like to try something that flips me out of the room. Why? We don't want you out of the room. After parties were great, but all the chicks got laid already, so they don't want to fuck anybody else. They don't want to fuck the guard. <laughs> Camp to the T. What's up? Not very close, like two years. Um, you know what? If you can do a kind of a fucking disguise, Nick, do the porn. But don't look like yourself in it. Like dye your hair fucking like bleach blonde, like you said, and shit like that. I love when nobody blocks me that I ignore. Yes, they would. They would still fuck after that? Fucking crazy. Oh, Prophet's hitting on Kim to the T, to the Guild, to the Roy. Oh, Prophet. The ladies, man. We got seven minutes to go, baby boys. Oh, Kim, is those eyes at heart for Prophet or for me? Because Prophet's making the moves on you, so I'm getting, I'm getting all fucking jealous. Prophet muscle. The fake. I don't know why. Why'd you say that about Greg? For you. Oh, thank you, Kim to the T. Seven minutes in heaven. Is that like games you play under the table when you were kids? With the stopwatch and you get to do whatever you can. Seven minutes till I get to close the gym up. Whoop. Get seven minutes in heaven. Make it go by quick. Joe, what have I missed? Working on the West Coast. I'm missing everything back. Um, Look at the Boston Lloyd video I have posted on Muscle Sport TV. It, or it's on the website, too. Can't wait till we get to meet up in Ohio. Travis Dustin, yes, sir. I'm going to put out that fucking roll call fucking... Uh, I made a video for it yet, but I haven't fucking edited it yet. Ladies, send me progress pics. What, as they... As they... Uh, they're getting deeper into their pregnancy, you mean, Profit Muscle? Are you uh, uh, OBGYN? <laughs> Kim to the T, to the Guild, to the Roy. Are you going to the Arnold Classique next month? Pink Princess Barbie. She never answered me if she's going to be in the fucking, uh, in the Kamasikama, the Arnold. Bodybuilding judge. Everybody be nice to him. <laughs> you and Christian should arm wrestle at the Arnold. I can't, Chris. Ask Christian why I can't. Go on one of his shows and ask that man why I cannot arm wrestle him at the Arnold. Please, I am... Dead fucking serious as a fucking corpse. Kim, are you? No, you're, you're just jerking my chain. The video of Boston was great. I hope he stays away from Duque. So do I. How fucking great was that when fucking Boston read the text? And you know that that did not want to be fucking publicized when by the sender. Pink Princess is going to the wedding. Oh, that's so cool. 
Where do you live, Pink Princess? She wants she's some the mystery woman. Joe, I cheated on you. I watched ten minutes of Christian on Monday. He filled in for Greg. His show blows. I'm not surprised. Why did Greg not do his show? Ask him, Chris. Chris Bra. Seriously, ask him. I don't, I don't want to talk about it on the show. Her commit. I'm not even going to fucking read that, bro. Don't talk about people's wives, dude. Seriously. I know you're just joking around, but that's... I even have a fucking line that I don't cross. I have to attend the wedding of the year. That is going to be the wedding of the year. I'll give it to you that much. I, I, I'm going to go so bad. I don't know if I can go, though. Okay, Chris. Seriously. Because he's always fucking fluffing your cock up, too. So... How will now explain his show to me in our last four minutes? Um, what was what was the basis of his show? Did he, um, you know, like what did he do? And and are they going to put it on the YouTube's so I could see it because I'd like to watch it. I'm just curious for myself. What do you think about Jason Genova saying he was kicked out of the Delray Misfits? Jason Genova is has a lot of issues, and I really like the guy. <laughs> Uh, obviously, I've had him on the show 150 times. He has articles in the magazine. But I think he gets a little too amped up and he takes, makes mountains out of mohills. And I spoke to him on Sunday before we made that video and I told him to not do stuff like that. And he did it. So, uh, oh shit, yeah. <laughs> you look like Eminem. Just do a mustache. Gotta run. You better fucking not lie about the Arnold, you little you little mixin' you. You little fucking hot fucking milf, you. I'll see you later, Kim to the T. Thanks for popping in. God is Ron Joe, love you. Big Rob, I thought you were going to come on today. What happened about that? Fucking Rob. And you better be at the Arnold, Rob. I'm going to fucking, I'm going to pound you in the pail. <laughs> Got to head back into the meeting. Catch you next week. Luke, when are you going to write me up? You can do Skype from fucking uh, L.A.? Nick, stay in school, best advice. He's way out of fuck. Well, he's in college, but I mean, Jason tried hitting on my woman. Can you blame him, Mike? Jesus Christ, I hit on fucking Thea every comment. <laughs> Big Rob has his, oh, profits, would you stop? <laughs> oh, so everybody have a wonderful weekend. We're going to get cut off in a couple of moments. Um, we'll be back on Monday with the Muscle Sport Radio. Um, uh, I have the, is your woman a tranny? Uh, no, it's just a straight up guy. <laughs> it's just a fucking big burly bear. <laughs> Hell, I hit on the, oh my God. I'm going to masturbate. School is for average people profit. Um, I have some good videos coming your way. Prince Andrew from the Delray Misfits, of course. Um, and I'm setting up something else for this week. I got the... Uh, Cat uh, Sakor from the Super League. She's also a video we're going to be posting up soon. But we have a lot of good things in store for you. MSTV will be up. Uh, probably over the weekend I'll get it up. And um, we don't have to worry about football anymore, so we don't have to fuck the NFL. But fuck the NFL anyway. So, guys, thank you so much for joining us. Once again on Ask Me Anything, MSM style. I love each and every fucking one of you guys. I love you chicks even better. And you fucking trannies... <laughs> More than all. <laughs> no, nah, none woods. It's tr this is a strange industry. You got to get a big Richard interview. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm doing a lot of stuff with those Delray guys. I, I, already, I, I already told them I want to fucking get more and more of them on it. So I am ball busting champs. Thank you so much, Crystal. Thank you always. Trust, trust, trust me. Nick, I like the blonde hair. Fuck the girls for money. Great show, Joe Mark. Thank you, everybody. Bye, Joey. Have a great weekend, everybody. We'll see you Monday, 3 p.m., and make sure you check out Crystal's videos on Muscle Sport TV and pay for her Muscle Girls Live and jerk off to her because it's worth it. Later, guys.